Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, everybody. Everybody that clapped anyway. Thanks very much, that was a pleasure to have some. Uh, this next song I'm going to do, uh, Paul McCartney wrote this. Come together, or not come together. Come and get it. <laughs> he came out with a band house one day and knocked on the door. And he gave us this tape and he said, This is a new song, I wrote it for Ringo, but I want to give it to you. And I'm going to come over next week, I want you to learn it exactly like this. No fiddly bits, no guitar jamming, just like this. And then I'm going to come over next week, take you to the studio, and produce it for you, and make your next record. And it'll be your first major hit. Yeah. How about that? It was. Yeah. Woo! You did. And he did, he was as good as his word. He came around the next week. Magic Christian. And he took us in the studio and he made the record. Yeah? Picked one of us out to sing it. Made the record. The record came out about a month later. And it was indeed that thing's first big hit record. Yeah! yeah. yeah. All over the world, it was a hit record. Over there, over there, and over there. Yeah, all over the world. So we're in Apple Records now, a week later, two weeks later. In comes George Anderson, yeah? He was the skinny one, played the guitar. <laughs> Remember him? He comes in and he's so excited. And he comes over to us and starts telling us how great it's gonna be with our new hit record. And we're going to go all over the world. We're going to play everywhere, including I am. I am. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. We're going to be able to buy Ferraris. It's going to be girls all over the place. I might even live in an English castle. Yeah. The only drawback it seemed that we'd have to play this song every day for the rest of our lives. Now well, this is 55 years ago, and here we are today, and we're going to do Come and Get It, yeah!